Greetings. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about conversions of complex numbers from rectangular form to polar form. And polar form to rectangular form. In a rectangular coordinate system, the development begins with the two-dimensional rectangular coordinate system shown. The two axes are labeled as X and Y. In complex variable theory, the x-axis is called the real axis and the y-axis is called the imaginary axis. A complex number, where x and y are not equal to zero, z equals x plus i y, is in quadrant 1. z equals negative x plus i y, is in quadrant 2. z equals negative x minus i y, is in quadrant 3. z equals x minus i y, is in quadrant 4. Now, let us try plotting some complex numbers in the complex plane. The first is a, equals 2, plus 3i. Having a positive 2 for x and positive 3 for y, tells us that this complex number should be in quadrant 1. Note that it should be 2 units to the right and 3 units upward from the origin. The second is b, equals negative 3, plus 5i. Having a negative 3 for x and positive 5 for y, tells us that this complex number should be in quadrant 2. Note that it should be 3 units to the left and 5 units upward from the origin. The third is c, equals negative 4. Having a negative 4 for x and 0 for y, tells us that this complex number should be on the negative side of the x-axis. Note that it should be 4 units to the left from the origin. The fourth is d, equals negative 3i. Having a 0 for x and a negative 3 for y, tells us that this complex number should be on the negative side of the y-axis. Note that it should be 3 units downward from the origin. Each point, x, y, of the plane corresponds to a unique complex number z, namely, in rectangular form, z equals x plus i y. But the point, x, y, can also be specified by polar coordinates. Therefore, the complex number z can be given a polar form that depends on r and theta. The polar form of z is written z equals r, e, raised to i theta. When convenient, we write r, e, raised to theta i in place of r, e, raised to i theta. Another way of writing a complex number is using Euler's formula where z, equals r, cosine theta plus, i, r, sine theta. Or simply z, is equal to, r, cis, theta. You can find some common engineering notation similar to notations used in vector quantities in physics. z is equal to r, angle theta. Now, conversions between forms of complex numbers, will need the following formulas. These formulas used the trigonometric functions from a right triangle, where the length of the legs are r, cosine theta, for the horizontal side, and r, sine theta, for the vertical side. So, changing from polar to rectangular will use the horizontal side which is x, is equal to r, cosine theta, and the vertical side which is y, is equal to r, sine theta. Also, changing from rectangular to polar form will use r equals the square root of the sum of x squared plus y squared. It would help to know that r is the modulus of z or the absolute value of z, denoted by mod z, and theta, which is the argument of z, denoted by arc z, is equal to the inverse of tangent y over x. It would be easier to understand how to use these formulas, if we use it in some examples. Example number 1. Convert the following complex number to polar form. z equals 4 plus 3i. Here, the modulus of z, which is, r, is equal to the square root of the sum of 4 squared and 3 squared, which is equal to 5. And, theta is equal to arctangent of 3 over 4 which is equal to 36.87 degrees, or, 0.6435 radians. 
So in polar form, we have the following answers. Use whichever is required by your teacher. Example number 2. Convert the following complex number to polar form. Z equals negative 4 plus 3i. Here, the modulus of Z, which is, R, is equal to the square root of the sum of negative 4 squared and 3 squared, which is equal to 5. And, theta is equal to arctangent of 3 over negative 4, which is equal to negative 36.87 degrees, feel free to convert to radians if needed. But, notice that, if the angle we get is negative, we might need to go a step further to be able to get the positive equivalent for this negative angle. Since the complex number z equals negative 4 plus 3i is in quadrant 2, and the angles form a straight line, we need to get the supplement of 36.87 degrees. To do this, we subtract 36.87 degrees from 180 degrees, and we get 143.13 degrees. So in polar form, we have the following answers. Use whichever is required by your teacher. Example number 3. Convert the following complex number to rectangular form. Z is equal to 4, E, raised to 2I. The angle given is in radians, so make sure that your calculator is in radian mode when you solve. Using a calculator, X, is equal to 4 times the cosine of 2 radians, will be negative 1.6646. And y, is equal to, 4 times the sine of 2 radians, is 3.6372. So, in rectangular form, z is equal to, negative 1.6646 plus 3.6372i. Example number 4. Convert the following complex number to rectangular form. Z is equal to 10, E, raised to negative I. The angle given is again in radians, so make sure that your calculator is in radian mode when you solve. Using a calculator, X, is equal to 10 times the cosine of negative 1 radian, will be 5.4030. And Y, is equal to, 10 times the sine of negative 1 radian, is negative 8.4147. So, in rectangular form, Z is equal to, 5.4030 minus 8.4147i. That's it. Now you know how to convert complex number forms. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons below. Also, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload my next videos. Please share this video to your friends to help them learn more in math. Have a nice day. Greetings.